I don't speak Japanese, I apologize, so I brought my trusty translator. So I'll be very quick, I won't take up too much of your time, because you'll probably need a break. But I've got a couple of points to say to the gentleman. Right. Um, when I stood up, first of all, I'd like to say, I think one manual that everybody should study from a Chinese and art of war perspective is the Yokan Denkai. Kao Kami Sensei knows a lot about this manual. He's, he's extremely knowledgeable in this one. But a man called Shige Nori, um, he actually got the 13th chapter of the Art of War and he took every sentence and then he did an Iga and Koga um, annotation. So I think it's, the, it's absolutely the best one for Art of War versus Ego, especially. Okay. Right, moving on from that. Next bit is um I have found in the in the West everybody wants to talk about infiltration. <laughs> in, Ch in the East, everybody wants to talk about spies. <laughs> but what I've realized is that uh, in China, the, um, it goes into three sections in China. The, the, what you would call the equivalent of the ninja. In China, is three sections. <laughs> in China, in the, the uh, classic five. So number one is spies control. Yeah. <laughs> number two is Inu dogs infiltration. They're called dogs. So, Kancho is the spy, and Inu are the infiltration dogs. Yes. Assistant. And Inu appears in the Bansen Shukai as well, and in other manuals. A, a subsection of ninjutsu is and number three is a fire, fire. It's always about fire tactics. And in China, I found all three are separate. Then well, in Japan, it turns into either spies or Inu Katutsu together. Well, uh, I don't expect them to answer it, but I just noticed that have they come across anything like that? <laughs> I can carry on. 
文化が伝播って言われているとですね、日本はほとんどの文化は予測が伝播してるですね、影響を受けるんですね。だからといって、忍術が大陸が伝わったというのは、これは言い過ぎだというふうに思うんですね。やはり中世ですね、いろんな知識が集合していったと。で、久米津さんがおっしゃっているのもおそらくそういった意味合いがあるんですね。あの結構その感情のことをご存じで、その見るっていうのはこうもうよくわからないんですからですね。<笑>どういう資料にどういう状況で出てきているのかですね。教えていただきたいですね。Yeah, yeah we、uh, we didn't know what you meant at the beginning. 最初は犬あの何を言うかあまり書いてないものですからわからなかった。So I was reading these seven Chinese classics. And it talks about、um, find me an Inu, a dog thief, to go and infiltrate the enemy and steal his pillow. And the same story appears in the Vance and Shuka. So I, I agree with Carl Carson saying we don't know how much is from China, but it seems names continued or skills we don't know, but names came across. So, all I ask is, can we investigate that in the future? And my last point, my last point is、um, the ethics. We talked about ethics within major manuals and h e o And usually,、um, What is it? Usually, in a non ninja manual, something written by a non ninja, they. I k o n o a b a n a i ne. Jotto. But when you read a ninja manual talking about ethics, It usually talks about、um, two things how the Lord should be better. How the Lord is terrible, they don't understand ninja. And the second one is that how ninja should act better, they should be good, be ethical. Which me, leads me to believe that most ninja were not worth stealing everything. Makes me think that they were always stealing us. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I'll give you back to y a m a n a Sensei. Arigato Kazan Rasta. Thank you. えー、とまだまだあのいろいろ、おぉ、足りないというか、まあ、全然あの会場の方に、<笑>会場の方で、あの何かご意見。general public,、uh, they actually get their history from films. Most people watch films and subconsciously they think、oh, it's a film book based on history. And I don't think Japanese people realize how popular ninja is in the world.
I used to dress as a ninja as a child. Yeah, run around, and I got stuck in my loft one day. Mother, mother. So, but what what happened was I watched all the films, and I thought it was true. I knew it was fantasy, but I thought the researchers researched history, so that's true. So in the 1980s, um, ninjas were like black magic assassins. In the 1990s, they became spiritual warriors. And then now they've become a, almost the elite assassin of the world. <laughs> My grandmother knows what um, a ninja is. My grandmother. <laughs> Mitsubishi, karaoke, samurai, ninja. Oh, Japanese, yeah. Hey. Yes, grandmother, yes, grandmother, hi, yeah. Assassin, eh, shuriken. So, no, grandmother, right? So, I came to Japan to discover the ninja, for the, the true ninja. And what, we were, what these people were talking about before is true, is that it goes through different phases. So what you have to remember is that when you say the word ninja, you are automatically talking about Sengoku period professional. And it's my opinion that the building blocks for ninjutsu came from China. But then when it came to Japan, the Japanese developed their own skills and ninjutsu definitely, lots of it was started in Japan. So I think the principles are Chinese, but the actual physical skills are Japanese. So then, and when you read an Edo period manual, it's actually a record, an Edo period record of a Sengoku period action. So you have to remember that when you read, whatever information you read, it's never from the original time. And the biggest problem I found is that um, when I came to study uh, the Japanese books like Okusei and um, Seiko, there was no references anywhere. <laughs> so I've, what I want to do is I want to go through, so basically I got all the Japanese books and push them to the side. And we want to start again, and now Mie University is uh, contacting with eager people. It's an amazing start right now. The reason is, is because if you produce correct information, it will go into the books. で、あの、研究を進められて、その、あの、私たちの情報が本人の形になるということ。
And from there it will go into movies, and after movies it will go into video games. The number one education of the world now. So I think the lesson of today is that the films and games are so powerful, but the people here have the power that they're from eager. So I think now is the start of an amazing future. I have one more thing to say, one last thing, and uh, I'd like to introduce Emma Moto san the first, the first book we translated into English was the Shonin Ki. And uh, the grave got introduced yesterday. あの、え、ピラミッド型の供養塔の中に墓石を収納してたんですけどもそれをまあ一つずつ調べてその名取三十郎正澄の墓石が見つかりましたで後にお遺灰遺灰も見つかりましてで過去帳には名取家の一族の方々がかな
付けられております。英雄寺ドットコムでホームページがあります。<笑>またご覧になってください。はい。I'm saying trying, I don't mean she can't. But she's gonna have a go. Another girl. <laughs> 